This video is brought to you by Design to Flutter, the platform that improves your Flutter coding skills by building real projects. So Adobe XD and Grunt Scanner announce an update to the plugin Adobe XD to Flutter. For those who don't know, the plugin allows you to convert your mock-up design in Adobe XD into Flutter code. Not only this saves time, it saves time. Therefore, I'm going to show you the two updates that I think is pretty cool. First one is responsiveness and the second one is scrollability. Moreover, at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you my reason why you should not use this plugin. So stick around. If you're unfamiliar on how to use the Adobe XD plugin to Flutter, I have a video that explains it. Without further ado, let's get started with the first point, responsiveness. So the earlier version of this plugin was the lack of responsiveness. This is because it merely renders the widget specifically to the position of the UI. Now in this update, the concept of rendering in its position kinda stayed the same. However, it is now responsive. As you can see over here, I have this Camp Vibes app and if I were to expand it, you could see that now my widget expands accordingly. This is due to the new widget that is called Pin. So this is an example code of what a pinned widget looks like. So it has the middle and the size of it, and then it has the start position and the end fraction of the position with its actual widget, which is a simple text hello. So it uses the size and fractions and also the position in order for it to make it responsive. So if you were to look into this example of the home file, you could see that there is a lot of widgets that is using the pinned from pins widget. And it basically is in a stack, but it converts whatever you have inside here to become a responsive widget. But the disadvantage of this is that it is not what you expect, meaning that it is responsive, but for example, card at the bottom, we will expect a fixed height. However, if you were to make the height of this app longer, you could see that the card actually stretches according to how much height you are pulling it. So this is not exactly what we expect because we expect this card to have its own height. So this might be a feature that the Adobe XD team or the G Skinner team can work on. Overall, I feel that this is a huge improvement but I would feel that it is not a big enough reason for me to use this plugin for real development. So after the responsiveness, the next thing is scrollability. So one thing in Adobe XD is that they have scroll groups. So at the right hand side, you could see that we are able to do horizontal scroll and then the other one will be the vertical scroll. So having this scrollability added into our own Adobe XD file into Flutter code will be extremely helpful for our design to Flutter code implementation. So currently our Camp Vibes app in our gear page over here is not exactly scrollable, but if you were to select the group and then if you were to go to the top right and you can see these icons and if you were to hover in the middle one, you can activate this vertical scroll. So this will have this icon that shows that this whole group is scrollable vertically. And the cool thing about this is that you're able to make this whole scroll group scrollable. And if you were to go to the gear page, you could see that our scroll group over here is scrollable and this is what we expect which is great this gives us less things to worry about and for this they just wrap a single child scroll view for it to scroll and before we move to the last point i have a question is having responsiveness and scrollability for the adobe xd plugin to flutter be enough for us to use it for development or even for production well i don't think so. This is because they have their own widgets that is called pinned and it uses positions rather than the actual layout widgets that we have. Even though they actually have added the layout widgets such as column into the code. However, this will be great if there isn't any positioned widgets or any widgets that use the position in order for it to be responsive. Because first of all, we need to learn how to use this. And if you were to create from scratch without using Adobe XD to flutter, we will probably use what is available like the column widget, the row widget, an empty size, 
size the box and furthermore if you want to make it interactive for example if you want to add in a text field when you click on this icon button over here then there isn't a Adobe XD widget that allows you to convert it into a Flutter text field widget. So there is a couple of things that you need to add on into your Flutter code in order for you to fully make use of this Adobe XD plugin. And you might say, oh, having this to be in Flutter code will be a great way for you to showcase to users. Well, the thing is, Adobe XD has this thing called the preview feature, which allows you to have a mock preview of the current app. And it's reflecting on what you have created inside your Adobe XD. For example, this is a scrollable group. Therefore, because of this reason, I'm out. So in summary, we learned that the Adobe XD to Flutter update has some pretty cool features such as making the Adobe XD responsive, having added scrollability. By having these two new updates, I don't think personally, it won't be a very good reason for me to use the Adobe XD plugin to flutter at all. If you disagree, you can comment down below with your reason why you think the Adobe XD to flutter plugin might be useful. Maybe I missed out certain situations. So that's about it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more of this kind of video, subscribe down below. And comment down when you will use this Adobe XD to flutter plugin. So stay safe and all the best. Bye bye.